In a review of Meat and Livestock Australia's operations, it was seen that Meat Standards Australia was one of the standout programs. So what we saw with our 50 $4 million investment was that there was a net profit return of approximately $680 million. So to put that into a ratio perspective, for every dollar spent in eating quality R&D, $12.50 was made in net profits. We, we can't stay still with eating quality research. We need to make sure that it's up and going and, and we're including things like estimated breeding values or EBVs, and we're including things like packaging, meat colour and all those other things that we need to focus on. And looking at the research data, we can find out that the MSA index is highly heritable. So if you're selecting for bulls and selecting for certain things, we know that the index is highly heritable. So that's always a really good thing. MSA marbling is also highly heritable, which is again a really good thing and ossification is moderate. So MSA marbling and ossification are generally two of the biggest drivers on the MSA model. So for them to be heritable uh, in a genetic sense is a, is a really good thing for when you're selecting bulls and sires and even females. One of the largest components of the Meat Standards Australia program is sensory testing. So the whole meat eating quality program is based on these sensory tests. Consumer testing has been carried out in eight countries. So we've been through Europe, we've been through Asia, we've been through the United States, and we've got what their consumers are looking at as well. And it's the largest consumer pro product testing program in the world. So we beat the likes of Arnott's Biscuits, Coca-Cola, all of those. We are the largest product testing in the world. And we need to keep doing those because consumers change. And what they tell us is that they put equal weighting on tenderness, flavour, overall liking, and they have a less inclination to put weighting on juiciness. Now previously, this used to be tenderness at 40%, flavour at 20%, overall liking at 30%, and juiciness at 10%. So what we see over generations is that people are changing. The MSA Producer Forum and Awards have been a great opportunity to get a lot of our producers in a room and just have a chat to them about what's going on in MSA research and development and what's going on with cattle prices, premiums and everything across the country. So it's been a really great opportunity to reward those that are complying to MSA standards and are doing it very well.